Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dallas, Texas, the free state of Texas. Now let me show you how I got here. So I just touched down in Dallas, literally just picked up the rental car. And can you guess where I am? I haven't even gone to the hotel yet, haven't gone to the grocery store, haven't gone to the gym yet, just hopped in the rental car. Guess where I am? That's right, you guessed it, Chick-fil-A. How are you doing? What can I get for you? Uh, can I do three grilled chicken sandwiches? Just the meals? Just the sandwich. What else for you? Uh, and a diet lemonade, please. Just one diet lemonade? Yes, please. Medium? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, any sauce? Buffalo sauce, please. What else for you? Just that. Yo, pro tip real quick. So, obviously my company pays for my meals when I'm on the road, but I got my Chick-fil-A app with my personal rewards on it, so I'm gonna scan my personal rewards, I'm gonna make sure I grab that receipt, of course I'm gonna be submitting that receipt in my expense report, but I'm getting some rewards, so doing a little double dipping if you will. I guess, if that makes sense. But you know what I'm trying to say. Sign up for your rewards, your hotels, your air miles, all that good jazz, your rental cars, but also your Chick-fil-A rewards. Enough said. Okay, here we go. You should know the deal by now. Three grilled chicken sandwiches. A great option. Chick-fil-A, that is. One of the best options, if not the best option, for staying on track when you're hitting the road. What's better than this? Grilled chicken between two buns times three. Come on now. This is easy. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm sharing all of my tips and tricks. I'm giving you all my deepest, darkest secrets for staying on track. This is one of them. This is going to be a good pre-workout meal. It is about a 30 minute drive to the hotel. Gonna take this food down, gonna allow myself to digest, gonna get checked into the hotel, gonna find a gym after that. The camera's falling. Oh my God, the world is ending. I'll check back in with all of y'all after this little meal. I'm starving, gotta get these calories down. Oh yeah, and welcome to a brand new video. Yet another video. Scott McLeod here, Coach Scott McLeod, certified personal trainer. Now it's currently Monday, January 24th at around one o'clock in the afternoon. I enjoyed a real nice first class Delta flight, a nonstop first class Delta flight direct from Boston to Dallas, Fort Worth. Anyways, at this point in time, I'm feeling pretty beat. Although it wasn't too long of a travel day. I don't know what's going on. Monday blues, potentially, who knows. Before I run out of energy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get changed, head on over to the gym. I did scope out a gym. I've been there in the past. It's been a while. It's a Gold's Gym and right across the street from the Gold's Gym is a Whole Foods. So, gonna get changed, gonna hit the gym, gonna hit the Whole Foods, gonna stay on top of my game while I'm out here in Dallas. So let's get to it. And just like that, here we are at the gym. So that Gold's Gym I was talking about, well, that doesn't exist anymore. The sign's still out front. It looks like Gold's Gym from the outside, but it's completely shut down. It is still across from the Whole Foods. That Whole Foods is still operational, but no go on the Gold's Gym. So I'm here at an LA Fitness, gonna sip on this bang ready to drink pre-workout. I don't know why I said ready to drink. I don't think they even make a pre-workout powder. It's just a bang energy drink. You can probably find it at your local gas station, grocery store, you name it. Gonna take that down for some energy. There's about 300 milligrams of caffeine in there. So much needed on this travel day. And then I'm gonna take down this 
Honey Nut Cheerios cereal bar. Chest and triceps, Dallas, Texas, LA Fitness. Let's get it. complete not a bad chest and triceps workout for a travel day cameras falling down again oh my god not sure where i got cut off there as the camera rudely worked its way off the dashboard not a bad chest and triceps workout remember this you're not always gonna be motivated motivation is garbage some days you're excessively motivated and that's good i guess you could ride that positive momentum that positive wave but you will not always be motivated not even me not even the most motivated person you look at someone you think they're so motivated no trust me you're not always gonna be motivated I did not want to get in that gym whatsoever I was feeling lethargic from the travel day I was feeling weak I was feeling just run down but you know what you fall back on your discipline you fall back on your habits your patterns your discipline you cultivate the tenacity to keep trying you drag yourself in there anyways you fall back on your discipline motivation is garbage you're not always gonna be motivated I certainly was not the least bit motivated trust me I didn't want to go in there whatsoever that little voice in my head just kept telling me take a nap at the hotel it's okay just relax you had a long travel day it was telling me not to go to the gym but you know what I fall back on my discipline I cultivate the tenacity to keep trying Groceries acquired. Let me very, very, very quickly show you what we picked up here. Here we go. Hard boiled eggs, broccoli sprouts, raspberries, blackberries, salmon in a bag, jasmine rice, some Quest bars, birthday cake, Greek yogurt, oatmeal, PB powder. Bam. Dinner is served. Don't knock it till you try it. Got a pouch of jasmine rice. Got two packets of salmon in a bag. Topped it off with some broccoli sprouts for volume, for satiety, to stay full, to stay satiated. You know the deal. Also, pro tip, I saved some of my Chick-fil-A sauce from earlier. The Zesty Buffalo. Very minimal, minimal calories in the Zesty Buffalo. I think it's like five calories. We're not tracking it. We're not counting it. Just dousing the meal with some buffalo sauce for flavor. Gonna devour this, then I gotta get some work done. We are out here for work. I have work obligations first thing tomorrow morning. A whole ton of work obligations, so without any further delay, let me provide you all with a nice, big first bite for the homies. Okay, a little bit later on in the night, doing some relaxing. I'm gonna get myself to bed. Like I mentioned, I do have a ton of work obligations tomorrow. And then just to fill you all in, I'm here in Dallas. It's currently Monday, January 24th. I'm here until Wednesday, the 26th. On Wednesday, the 26th, I fly from Dallas to Little Rock, Arkansas. Work obligations over there in Little Rock and then flying back to Boston on Friday. So just another day in the office for me or not in the office, but nothing that I'm not used to. This video was one of those videos where when I pick up the camera, I feel as though I have so much to say or so much that I want to say, but I don't want to sit here and just talk your ear off on every single clip. So I feel as though there are some things that I wanted to say that I left out of this video. I don't know. 
Maybe that's a good thing because sometimes you pick up the camera, you might not know what to say, and then you don't know how to film a video, then you're without content. So maybe it's a good thing that every time I picked up the camera today, I felt as though I wanted to say so much, and I had a lot that I wanted to say that I also left out of the video. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Who knows? But the good thing is I can include some of those things in the next videos. So you're going to have to subscribe to the channel, but this one's coming to a close. If you enjoyed this video, if you found value in this video, if you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I drop at least one video a week every Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, and I'll see each and every one of you, yes, even you, in the very next video.